Good morning and welcome to Mornings with Jacqueline. My name is Dr. Jacqueline Lawrence and today I will be reading and commenting from In Touch magazine, uh, the May 27th issue entitled The Nature of Strength. The Nature of Strength. And uh, this commentary is extracted from Ephesians 6, 10 through 13, which reads, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. How many of you all know that this is the evil day? Amen. I am God all by myself. I don't need any help. I can handle things on my own. I am the first and the last. Whatever you need, just ask. For I am, I am, I am God. I was there in the beginning, and I'll be there when you get to the end, I'm all seeing, all knowing, almighty, ever showing, for I am, I am, I am God. Now listen to this. All of my promises are, yeah, I am God. All of my promises are, yeah, I am God. I am the first, the last. Whatever you need, just ask. For I am, I am, I am God. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad he don't need my help because ain't too much I would be able to do for him. So like I said, today's reading is entitled The Nature of Strength. The moment a person receives Christ as Savior, he or she enters a battle. The enemy is determined to destroy believers' testimonies. But God has supplied a mighty weapon to those who serve him. His son's strength flowing through their life. Christ's power is supreme. Satan, with all his demonic forces, can't throw anything our way to match Jesus' supernatural strength. Even so, temptations and trials expose weaknesses when most would prefer to appear strong. That is one reason human nature rebels against hardship and tries to avoid it. God wants Christian soldiers to be armed with the Savior's might so that they can confront life's difficulties. He promises us strength 
only when we set down pride and accept that we are too weak for battle. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. And Jesus' power is available to every believer right now. A gift the commander gives his followers so they can endure conflicts victoriously. The world encourages keeping up the appearance of handling one's own problems. So Christian soldiers marching orders probably seem quite strange to onlookers. However, arrogance does not bring blessing. Rather, it causes confusion, distance from the Lord, and ultimately failure. If we desire victory, then we must not follow the worldly strategy of facing the enemy alone. Until our life is over or Jesus Christ returns, we are locked in a battle with Satan. But we have nothing to fear when we are totally dependent upon the Lord for his strength. We are filled with supernatural energy and endurance. Now, if you're wondering what my tears are always about and why I don't try to stop their flow, first of all, it's refreshing. Second of all, I tried to pray my tears away. God said, there's a ministry in your tears. So because God said it, I'm just going to let it flow. So y'all will have to excuse my tears. These are not tears of sadness. These are not tears of pain, but these are tears of joy. Okay, I can stop the snot though, right? Excuse me. These are tears of joy, and the Lord gave me this joy. And what God giveth, let not man put asunder. So I am... Excuse me, I am just so blessed that I don't have to fight my battles. Because if you're like me, you've tried and you failed. But you surrendered all to Jesus. And now we can just walk in peace and joy knowing that everything is already taken care of. God has already ordered our steps. We can't see what's ahead, but God knows exactly what's ahead. And it's already taken care of. Now, if that don't do something for you, then I don't know what to tell you. But for me, that brings me so much joy. And I am so happy to be called a child of God. And I am so blessed that I can rest all my cares in the bosom of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for calling me your child. Thank you that you don't need my help to be God because I couldn't do nothing for you. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with Mornings with Jacqueline. I pray that you'll rest in his bosom that you'll take all his cares, all your cares unto him, and that you will be strong in his power and not your own. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a blessed day.